All right, guys, you've been uh, sub to me for a while. You probably remember me fishing here back when I had, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine thousand subs. Haven't been back here since, but I'm excited about today. This pond behind me, I don't think I'm gonna get kicked off. Uh, been fishing here forever. Everybody around here seems really cool. It's kind of a retention pond that the community, the neighborhood just forgot about. Um, it does not get maintained at all. It certainly hasn't been stocked in the past I don't know, 15, 20 years. There's tons of invasive species in here. There's all kinds of plecos, tilapia, alligator gar, long nose gar, but there's also some really big crappie and some really big bass. And that is why I like to fish it. Water has been warming up for the past three or four days, uh, probably getting up into the mid 60s maybe. Not enough to get bass essentially on beds, not enough to make crappie spawn, but definitely enough to make them start heading to those areas. There's one, yes. I think that's a nice cropping, guys. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Yes. That's a stud of a crappie. I'm gonna try and flip him. Ooh. That is one healthy fish, man. Let's go. First one, not too bad. see how many more we can pull out from right here. There we go. Could not get that any more perfect right under that too. There he is. Yep. Ooh. Oh, I don't think that's a crappie. I'm gonna loosen a couple clicks. Yeah, I don't think that's a crappie. It's coming up. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna loosen a little more. It's acting like a nice bass. Got a really small jig head on here. So this is kind of terrifying. When I'm fighting ultralight bass, I never know if this thing is three pounds or eight pounds. It's gonna try and take me to that culvert. Oh my gosh, dude. That was one impressive fight from this fish, let me tell you. Ah, that was a very impressive fight from that fish. I haven't had, that's a three and a half pounder. I have not had a three and a half fight that hard. I don't know if ever, look at that, barely in there. Already popped out, that's crazy. Yes, there was a fish sitting right in front of it. Nice crappie. Ooh, that's a real nice crappie actually. Oh, that's a stud. That's a stud. Come on, yes. Awesome fish. Score. B 
Beautiful white crappie, great shape. Alright, we're just going to walk out on here now. I think we caught all the fish we can from this side. Maybe we'll see if we can get any from right in this side. There is one down there, yes. I don't know if that's a crappie or a bass because it's fighting pretty serious. What is that? It's just a fat little bass. Jeez, look at the shape this thing is in, my gosh. One thing I like to do is, I know I hit this from that angle, but if you hit the structure from different angles, you can often get bites you missed on the first try. Yep, just like that. Come here. Nice crappie. Nice crappie. Heck yes. Oh no, no, jeez, we almost lost him on that rock. Monsters, but just a lot of real solid fish. It's awesome. So we caught all those fish from that culvert over there, and they weren't super aggressive. They were in about three and a half, four feet of water, and right in front of me, I know there's structure in four feet of water. So it bothers me. But I haven't caught one from there yet. Come on. Oh, stink. That was a bite. Yep, he pulled me down. I've had enough of this. friends that's a serious crappie that's a serious crappie come on stay on there Jeez, guys yes oh my gosh that's the biggest of the day by a long shot whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. what's she doing what's she doing get over here i knew if we stayed there long enough sooner or later this is what would happen. Yes, I think that's the biggest of the day. Real solid fish. Took me a while, but like I said, crappie and three or four feet on that end, and I know there's structure over here. Took me a while to find this one, but just keeping this crappie jig in and around that structure, and eventually, that's what happens. That was fun, awesome fish. Look at this snail. That is a pig of a snail. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ooh. My friends. That's another really nice fish. No, stay on there. Oh my gosh, is that a crappie? Oh my gosh. Guys, if that's a crappie, I think it is a crappie. It is pulling. Yes, monster crappie. Monster crappie. That's going to be the new biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh. This thing is awesome this thing is huge oh my 
god. Come on, come here. Come here. Ooh. That is a beast. That is a beast, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's on. That's good. Look at that hook just pops out. That's awesome. That's a pretty solid fish. Um, I know it looks like I've only been here for a minute and a half, but I spent about 15 minutes casting out there. I got three bites and hooked two. And uh, that might be the biggest crappie I've got out of this pond. Really cool fish, really healthy fish. I'm really stoked with how, uh, how healthy all these, all these fish look. Literally just came out here to kill some time. Wasn't really planning on making a video, but hey, I'm not gonna turn it down. Wow, guys, that is gorgeous. Gone. All right, guys, on our first walk around this pond, didn't get anything until I came to right here and slayed them on that second culvert. Second walk around, we slayed them over there. And on the second walk around, those fish y'all just saw me catch, got three bites, two fish, but one of them was that absolute monster, which absolutely makes my day. And we're gonna end it right here, seeing if any fish have moved back onto that culvert right there. Cast King, Sharky 3, I have caught a lot of fish on this reel in the past month. Incredible little ultralight reel. If you like two to six pound line, check this out. Link in the bio, link in the description, excuse me. Also, that's the Mr. Crappie Hula Grub. Instead of 1 16th, going with 1 32nd today is, is those fish really are not that aggressive. I have to keep that lure in the strike zone. I have to keep it around them for a while before they actually commit to it. And it's, it's falling real slowly and I'm bringing it up real slowly. So I think it's a little more subtle bite today. Alright guys, it seems like the crappie did not move back onto that culvert where we pulled them off from in the first time. Um, still not really the spawn. I think those crappie moved up a little bit in the warmer weather, but if it was spawn, there would have been a lot more crappie that moved up in there after I pulled those fish out, in my opinion. But um, awesome day of fishing. Really just came out here to kill some time and um, started catching fish and thought I might make a video. The whole YouTube thing, it's kind of gotten out of hand for me. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> with YouTube, to be honest. Really happy with how it's grown, how it's taken off, but I have a lot that I need to learn about it. And um, really just getting started. This time of year, I can go out and make a video almost every day. Comment below, would you guys watch a video every day? I think that what I've been doing two to three times a week is working all right, but right now I have like 14 videos that I, I need to edit, I need to post, but instead of editing them, I just go fishing, get more footage, and then I get even more backlogged. So, I need to start editing a lot more, and I guess posting a lot more. Let me know below what you guys think. Should I post four or five times a week? I'm thinking maybe every other day would be a, a, good, a good start. But then the issue is that sometimes in the middle of the summer or the middle of the winter, I can only get one or two videos a week, and then it drops off, and then people were expecting four or five videos a week down to one or two videos a week changes things I don't know I got a lot to learn about this but I'm not stopping anytime soon it's been awesome so far I really appreciate all the support thank you guys for watching this is just the beginning